Hello, welcome. Try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. Okay, so I just want to specify that um, I'm actually going to think of this problem in this order, and I'll explain why, and you'll see what's going on. I'm going to put this to the top, so x minus 2y plus 5z equals 3, and then the other two, that doesn't really matter to me, 2x plus 3y minus 4z equals negative 1, and then finally negative 4x plus y plus z equals 16. All right, so this is going to help me because the first thing I want to do is eliminate, I don't like that color, it's too dark here, this term and this term. And what I want to do, um, what's helpful to me is have just one x up here, which divides into everything. Because then what I can do, if I if I call this row 1, row 2, and row 3, right, the rows of our system, uh, I can say, all right, well, take the first row, multiply it by a negative 2, right, because that's going to give us negative 2x, and when we add that to this term, they zero out. Add it to the second row, and then whatever you get, put that result in the second row. And this uses a great property here, where if you add two equations, the resulting equation is still a part of the system. And then likewise, to cancel out the 4x on the bottom, the negative 4x, I'm going to multiply my first equation by 4, add it to my third equation, and put the result in the third row. Now watch what happens if I do this. We have x minus 2y plus 5z equals 3. Now I have a 0 here because negative 2x plus 2x is 0. Then we have to multiply everything in the first row by negative 2 and add it to the second row. So negative 2y times negative 2 is 4y plus 3y is 7y. And negative 2 times 5z is negative 10z. I don't need to write that um, because I still have to add it. Oh boy. So negative 10z plus negative 4 is negative 14z. And then negative 6 plus negative 1 is negative 7. Cool. Now in the third row, we have a 0 again. Multiply everything in the first row by 4 and add it to the third row. So now we have negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7y. And then 20z, right? 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21z. And then finally, 12 plus 16 is 28. All right, so this is, this is working out nicely so far. So I'm going to just rewrite the second row as 1 7th of the second row. Put the result in the second row. And then um, let's, let's one, take 1 7th at the 7 of the third row and put it back in the third row. Now, what is that doing? Well, this is going to allow us to quickly solve for x and y. Just hang in there, you'll see what I mean. Okay, first equation is unchanged. Uh, the second equation is going to be plus y minus 2 equals negative 1. The third equation is 0 uh, minus y plus 3z. I forgot my z up here. And equals 20 divided by 7 or 4. All right, now what I want to do is I want to um, try and eliminate this term because then if I do that, I can solve for z and then solve each of the other equations. So I think the easiest way to try that is to do the second row plus the third row and put the result in the third row. So I have, that's going to work because I have the opposites right here. So let's rewrite it and see if we're done x minus 2y plus 5z equals 3. Second row, 0 plus y minus 2z equals negative 1. Now, if I add y and negative y, that's a 0. So we have two zeros. And then negative 2z plus 3z, that works out nicely, is just z. And then negative 1 plus 4 is 3. And you, if you see what's nice about this is we now know what z is. We, we can then use that, and I'll bring the pink back here, to solve the second equation, and then all of that to solve the third. Okay, so if z is 3, what is y? Well, it's y minus 6, because 2 times 3 is 6. That equals negative 1. Add 6 to both sides, and y is 5. We've got z, we've got y. Let's plug in to find x. So we have x minus 10 plus 15 equals 3. Okay, so 15 minus 10 is 5. 
right? Yep. Yeah. And then we have negative 5 plus 3, and that equals 2. What I just did, that was confusing, I added negative 10 plus 5 is 15, and then I subtracted 15, oh, sorry, and negative 10 plus 15 is 5, and I subtracted 5 on both sides, so 3 uh, minus 5 is, is negative 2, excuse me. So the x value is negative 2, the y value is 5, and the z value is is negative two oh my gosh negative two five and three all right i hope that helped